Hi everybody, it's Shanna with shannasweetsblog.blogspot.com I am uh, coming at you to make a video of some stuff that I worked on this week for some swaps. Hopefully I haven't already made them, but if I did, I guess we have to see it twice. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it all in one video instead of separating it out. This is for an autumn card swap. And I used an autumn magnolia stamp that I covered with my Copics. I cut out with the Spellbinders die, tried to ink the edges some, a um, little bit of twine in there. The paper is just some leftover stuff I had from last fall and an on craft cardstock. And the second card that goes in that swap is um, one that I used. Uh, I think I got this stamp at a garage sale. But I used the banner die and stamp set from um, A Creative Time with Emma. And she has background stamps for it. And I kind of used a burlapy one there. And, and then her letter stamps come. These were all from her, let's see, September release. So just used some paper. This is that new design, uh, die cuts with a view paper on some orange cardstock. Then um, I sign up almost every month for the journal spots on Your Paper to Pantry, and this month was a masculine theme, and you're supposed to use craft cardstock. So I made a trophy. I was going to put another piece here on top, but it just didn't look right. So um, I can write on the back, and I popped up this. This is the stamps from My Creative Time with Emma. And if you can see these pop dots, they are like, oh my gosh. I mean, I think they're almost a half, at least a third to a half an inch thick. They were some that I got in a uh, my bits and pieces swap. It was, I mean, I just can't believe how big they are. Then the next one I made was this pennant. Um, I used the My Guy paper. And this one I figured I put some... Uh, grommets in there and figure then you can write either on the back there, right there, or even um, put a little picture in the middle. And then the last one I wanted to do something like a clipboard. I guess it's not totally guy themed, but I thought it was a cute idea. So I cut out some chipboard for the back, um, some silver shiny paper for part of the clipboard, and then there's three pieces of paper from the My Guy stack to journal on the backs, put pictures, just nice cute little spot. And then last but not least, um, there was a postcard swap, I believe it's on your paper pantry, and I had not signed up for this before, but um, you know what, yeah, so they, you do postcards, and then so one side's a postcard, and then the other side is decorated. So you were supposed to use botanical paper by Graphic 45. So I used um, the botanical paper for the base and this little cutout, and then I cut out some uh, these butterflies. Actually, I got I think they're for making memories. But I added some feathers and some gems to them, little antennas, of course some bling for their trails, and then the stamps, which I don't know how well you can see them, but it says Live, Love, Laugh. These are stamps from my creative time with Emma that I got a couple months ago. A little I Am Rose, of course, with a little bit of leaf. I really love how these postcards turned out. This one I was trying to use a um, the Seaside type theme from the papers, so I, uh, I glimmer, I, not glimmer, Lindy stamp ganged all my papers first, so they all have a shimmer to them, and then I bought some, I needed some glossy accents, but I couldn't find any regular, and I bought the crackle kind, and so I glossy accented the fish to make them look like they were underwater, and it gave a really nice crackle effect, and then these are some honeydew drops that I just thought would kind of represent water. I distressed all the edges and inked them and just used it. I have a uh, postcard stamps from 
Stampers Anonymous, so I just used a different one on the backs. Then the last one, of course, different postcard. Uh, this time I went with the plant part of the botanical paper. So I cut out the diamond shapes, I glimmer misted the back, added a little bit of bling, got a little piece of glue there. Used a the little I Am Roses Daisy that I um, Lindy Stamp ganged. And I really am really happy with how these turned out. I hope everybody likes them. Can't wait to see what I get back. Thanks for looking.